Good afternoon, Facebook. It's Stephen with Video Streaming Advice, and I'm about to be joined, hopefully, uh, by David. I'm just waiting for David to arrive, and then we can make a start. Now, if you are interested in live video streaming, uh, please pop along to the LVS 17 group, and uh, you'll find people there willing to help you. People who've been broadcasting for two years, two weeks, or thinking about broadcasting, LVS 17 is the place to go. And uh, David has arrived. David, if you just say hello, then I can bring you in. Um, and the onboard, onboarding process here is, if I can find David having written something, then I can bring David on screen. Uh, okay. So I'm going to invite David in, and David, all things being well, will turn up in my palette there. I'm going to change the layout so the layout is side by side, and uh, this is where things, you know, we're actually waiting for David to arrive. And uh, I saw, well, I didn't see him earlier. I uh, chatted with him earlier today, and. Uh, Hopefully he will be joining us in a moment and there are more chats below. So just let me check and uh, Hello Tish uh, good to see you. I'm just waiting for David to arrive and then we can get underway I'm going to try again and Hello, hey, how are you? I'm good. Let me close the blinds. Okay. Let's get let's get let's get ready um, And whilst we're waiting, uh, just make sure that we are live on Facebook and it should be appearing in my time and we're waiting for Facebook to refresh. If you are watching on Facebook, we can see your comments. So if you want to say hi, please do. And that's better. How's that? That's better. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I've decided this time to come in just using the camera. I'm not using many cameras. It was a bit shaky this morning, um, but I did enjoy doing the uh, the picture in picture thing. That was quite good because um, that shows another way forward of actually doing things. Right, since we last came together, sir, uh, Huzza has gone. Huzza is no more. Ah, right. Okay. Now, they did have the choice of actually continuing, didn't they? They said as much in the in the press release that they, they could have continued uh, because Kickstarter, just to everybody who's not caught up yet, um, Huzzard.io uh, was the saviour for many people last year when Blab closed, and a lot of shows were done from there, and currently, up until a few days ago, two were done from there. Um, and it did yep. go live on Facebook. But now it's gone and it's been bought and acquired by Kickstarter. And uh, the two gentlemen who run it, who are very likable guys, uh, are in fact now uh, working on Kickstarter Live. Good morning, Terry. By the way, Stephen, I am streaming this live on Instagram and Terry Johnson has joined me over there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, would you like to explain how you're doing that? Let's use up some bandwidth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you explain how that's, this is taking part, place? How are you doing it? Yeah, I can. Nope, I guess I don't really want to do that, though. Right there. Because right. um, that would take away from your audio. So I'll take these out. Um, I just I have my phone in front of me, and I am streaming live. So All right. Okay. Well, got you. Got you. So this is first silly question. What happens when I'm speaking? You well, actually, you've uh, got to hear you. All oh, right. Okay. They just, they aren't seeing you because it's all, it's right here. Right. But they can, okay. they can hear you. There's no recording. So, you know, there's yeah. nobody, can, nobody can hold me to anything that I say. 
<laughs> There's no proof of it. Hello, hello, Peter, and hello, Tish. Uh, and just back to Peter for a moment. Uh, Peter and I are doing a show at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern uh, about why businesses should uh, be involved and benefit from live video. So looking forward to that. Yeah, I saw the the broadcast this morning. And yes, you look much much more stable and clear now that you're not well, using. I, I do try to be stable, but <laughs> when it works, it's brilliant. But occasionally, I, what I forgot to do uh, this morning was to uh, I didn't switch off. I didn't reboot the machine, so it had everything I've been working on for quite a while. So that was my that was my doing. I think I think normally it's a lot better than that, uh, and. We should all try to work smarter. And uh, with live video, we can definitely do that. If anybody's watching wants to come on the show, then we're on, uh, if you go to, just go to Smile Time, you'll see us live at the top left-hand corner. And uh, welcome uh, to the Philippines. Uh, Vilda, or Vida, it's nice to see you here. Um, because of course it's definitely evening in Philippines. It is. Yeah. Uh, this is with my camera. So. I mean, that, talking of audiences, Philippines is quite a large audience. Um, so welcome everyone for the Philippines. Uh, right, and Peter wants to come and try his microphone. So he's got a new microphone. Shall we bring him on? Absolutely, bring him on. Okay. I can wait for myself right now. Okay, let's change change the layout and uh, invite Peter on, and uh, Peter can test his new microphone. So you're invited, Peter, and I can see your picture at the moment, but I can't see your video feed. So I'm going to wait a second or two whilst that sorts itself out. Um. Here. So you can hear him. I thought. Maybe not. Okay. So can you say something, Peter? Yep, I hear him. Okay, let's go for it. Look, Peter. That's kind of weird. I shouldn't be hearing him. No, uh, that's, that's <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> There's a bug. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Peter off the show and invite him back on. And we'll try for a second time. This is live video. That person's name Wida, W I D A. Wida. Yeah, right, right. Okay, we have Aberdeen on the line and calling Aberdeen. Hello, Hello. Peter. How are you doing? We're doing fine. Okay. Would you like, would you like to test your, mic, test your mic? How's this microphone coming through? Sounds good. Yeah, it sounds very good. Yeah, it's very clear. There's no uh, echo. There's no background noise. It's, it's a lot better. Okay. Well, this is uh, this is a very small lapel microphone. Cost me about eight pound off the internet. Yeah. And it's up here. And you know, I went out and bought a broadcasting mic, but I'm quite happy with this. I'm also looking at a, a USB mic um, with uh, Bluetooth, so I can actually walk about because I don't like sitting. And I'd like to walk about with a microphone as well, or, or get Australian to walk about. I walk about Australia, yeah. So, um, so happy enough for that sound, yeah. Good. Okay, and cameras. The thing is, the laptop always automatically kicks in with the Lenovo camera in the laptop. Yeah. And. Uh, I have to go in and change that each time. Don't know how to disable it because it's not working. It's the it's pretty poor. So there you go. So what we're we talking about today? If anybody has any questions about live video streaming, which is a misnomer according to David, uh, because video streaming has to be live. Yeah. Um, then we're willing to answer them um, and take on board everything that everybody has to say. And uh, I want to say hello to Nazim, and Nazim has a question. Nazim, do you want to join us in the room? 
Sorry, I muted you out while I was talking to So I got Robert Stern over on Instagram, and I believe Terry Johnson is still there. Robert was asking oh, what it was all about. So, well, if I if they want to join us here, uh, more than welcome to do so. Nazim is, uh, I think, flipping over from uh, from Facebook, um, and we've lost Peter's feed. So I'm going to take Peter off for the moment and bring us back to our normal layout, and. There we are. So, Nazim, if you come in the room, all right, okay. Good morning, um, Coach Jenny. So, morning, Jenny. I, I can answer this partially for you. Um, right. Okay. I tested. Uh, so, Nazim's question, by the way, Instagram, just for you all to know. Uh, so, Nazim says he just bought a SC6 Road box to connect two Love Plus mics to my iPhone, works great, but when I try with an Android, does not work. Um, Android, some of the Android phones are really funny about not accepting um, input, audio input. When I tested a long time ago with my Android tablet, my Nexus, uh, it didn't work um, at all, and I could, and it was driving me absolute batty, and, and the only thing I could come up with is that on some Android phones, it does not work. Uh, I think it does on some Samsungs, but I don't know what type of yeah. Android phone you have. But that that was kind of where I was very unhappy about uh, Android. Now, again, I, I tried this on a tablet and stuff, but it, it should have been about the same thing. So, right. well, Nazim is she says she's digging my black and white video. Yeah, the color. Otherwise, I get too washed out right now. There's sunlight coming in or something. So, anyway. Right, and Tish is watching us from our uh, Facebook app on iPad Minute, and we're coming through loud and clear, which is good. And uh, it's checking. Nazim and Peter are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch layouts. And momentarily. It's a one plus three. We'll go over there. One I shall bring Nazim in, three. and we'll go for a break. I'm bringing Peter. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. I'm down at the office in general, so I took a real quick break. Um, I was wondering, David, if there's like a little jack that can do the TSSR to the other one? There is. The other um, I can actually, Nazim, I'll give you a link for that. Um, but that may not fix your issue, just to let you know, because that okay. – um, I've never been a fan of the of the Lav or Lav Plus mics Works. in Rode. Oh. And um, so anyway, there are um, – when I first started shooting video and I was doing everything with the iPhone and I wanted to get more professional with the Lav mic like all the people I'd seen, it was driving me batty as to why a Lav mic wouldn't work, and it was because of what you're talking about. The, the connectors are not there. So – there is one, there is the other. Uh, I'll send you the link in, um, uh, in Facebook Messenger uh, that you can get it off of Amazon. Excellent. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. So you can give it a try. Um, I yeah, did give it a try. try. It it's my, not expensive. Um, I'll give it a try and see if it works. Robert, yes, we are on Facebook. We're also on Smile Time. We're broadcasting on Smile Time. So if you want to hop on over. Anyway, Instagram, what I was talking to him about is that these are the two adapters I have to use for my iPhone and for my lav mics to work um, because of the TSSR, TRRS, whatever it is. You know what it is. TSSR, um, I think. Yeah. There you go. Uh, anyway, that was something. And I learned that. Many, many, many years ago. Uh, in fact, I've got a okay, guide to I put together somewhere uh, with all, to help people I really, out with iPhones. I, I really love the Lav Plus, the, the clip-on. Mm -hmm. So when we did the Bologna one, we just had it clipped on Betty. But I said, well, why don't we get two so that we can talk independently? And and we tested out this um, Sunday. It was, I mean, this weekend, it was really it worked really great. But then when I plugged it into this nice bigger phone, no, just one worked and the other one didn't. Right. Yeah, it's um, and again, it could, it you know, you, it it could be, they've just not enabled that jack to be able to do that type of functionality. I don't know. Um, I it, so when I first started doing 
uh, my videos with my iPhone, the Lav Plus was not available. It was horrible. It has this everybody everybody's told me that the Lav is horrible. It yeah, was it like was really bad. This horrible hiss to it all the time. Exactly. Uh, and I was like, well, that's kind of silly for me to spend that much money. And I'm also kind of cheap. Um, <laughs> so I was like, well, I can find this. Uh, uh, this nice, and I didn't like, and, and the thing I don't like about the Lava Plus is the short cord. It's like six feet, and that's that's it. Um, and I tend to walk around and move around and all these different things. So anyway, I got a Lava Mic, uh, an Audio Technica. It's got a 20-foot cord to it. And then um, after I worked with that for a while, uh, I upped my game a little bit more, and I have a Sony wireless Lava Mic system, uh, quite a bit more money. Um, well, that's what I was. I was. You, you were just going in the direction of my next question. Wireless is that an option to look at? Is it worth I the money? Is it love worth my my Sony? And I can give you a link to that too. Um, they give me a link to that because yeah, that would be interesting. But I'm just concerned that outside Bluetooth might be an issue. So, you it's know, not it might Bluetooth. not pair up. It one. is, it is okay. wireless. Um, there is. Oh, okay. a, in fact, I've got them in front of me. So that is the receiver that plugs into your phone and then this is uh what you uh, hook onto your belt and then that's got the mic on it um not that i ever do it but i did test it uh i can get three well, less, i mean i, I mean can for get 300 feet away from from the the receiver sound crystal clear wow um are you kidding me no nah. It 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 was it blew my mind. I I really looked into all these different and there's and there's a couple other wireless lav mics that are mm -hmm. out there that are great, um, but this sounds awesome. Um, I mean, if you've got really loud ambient noise, yeah, it's going to be, but it's really picking you up, and you can sit there and play with the settings and and work on the awesome. attenuation and and everything. Um, and it's just it's been a wonderful, wonderful because uh, I have that would like, be perfect. That would be really perfect for us when we do our outdoor stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm listening, uh, I'm hearing things just now that, I think it's Nazim, you've got a lot of background noise, but David, I'm looking at you, how come you've got no feedback, you've got no earplugs in? Because that is essentially the way that I would like to come on without having things hanging from the ears and things. So what are you, what is your setup? Uh, so I use, um, so right now I've got a Blue Spark Digital hooked okay. up. Okay. Um, it's kind of the smaller version of the Blue Yeti, which yes. I have that as well and used that for a long time. But I've I've had this and I wasn't using it. And when I changed my office around, I was yeah. like, that's it. Let's play with the Blue Spark Digital. <clears throat> I got this um, because the Blue Spark Digital uh, comes with two connectors. So there's a USB so you can hook up to your computer. But there's also a lightning connector. Um, so that you can connect it directly into your iPhone. Now, the problem with that is that the app actually has to recognize the mic as an, a viable mic and all that type of stuff. So, I, you know, most apps do. Smile Time doesn't, um, or at least they didn't. But um, anyway, so uh, that's what uh, – it's a condenser mic. Um, it doesn't um, – it, it focuses on me and then tries to alleviate all – extra background noise, noise coming from the speaker. Occasionally, I still have to put on headphones when something's going wonky and, and I hear myself coming through somebody else's speakers. Um, but usually, it, it works out all right. So anyway. And you don't that's all. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I'm out of here. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. And if anybody wants any kind of links or anything or, or, or talk about microphones, we can certainly talk about microphones. Really appreciate it, guys. I have tested okay. a lot of microphones. Have a great week. Okay, catch you later. I was impressed by a video over the weekend that you did. You were? Okay. When you, when you were out and about with your phone, with a perfect, new, well, perfect picture and sound on the Smile Time app. Uh, yes, yes, I did that Saturday morning because they turned on the rear camera, um, which takes six to ten seconds to <laughs> turn on. Um, right. 
to to switch over and and during that time there's no audio but anyway yeah so i was there was a little roughness in there um and it was just because i was getting further away from my wi-fi um but yeah glad you liked it i did it it's shows what can be done i mean using the technology that smart time are actually providing us with uh, if anybody's watching live on facebook uh, if you comment we can see it if you've got a question we'll try and answer it if you want to join us click the link up above and uh, you can live on camera as nazim did so thank you nazim and uh we have robert with us shall we bring robert yeah peter's still lit up green you may want to excuse him out of the palette Stephen, just to let you know is 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 he is he in the pal there. now he's on screen hello, hello peter hello what, what's happening with me today this is hardwired and and i'm off i always get this why me why is it what's the problem uh, i could be a range of things it could be the computer that you're using to the wire uh, the, the router that you have to your internet service provider to connections with your internet service provider and their connections over here and, and all mm. of that it can be a wide range of, of items that are going on usually you want to look internally though so um routers are an, are an interesting aspect and again i still have to get that document done yeah um listing well, uh, three, I'm getting a, three routers i'm looking to get a new router as we call it over here or router <laughs> and uh i've got a hardwired and uh, I'm looking to get that done because the, I didn't know this, but the, the routers that you get from your ISP packages in Britain, they'll give you the most basic that doesn't use the most bandwidth. And uh, so that is going to change. I'm going to be putting in uh, a super and, duper. Well, that, and that's, that's pretty true of even over here. I mean, it, it you know, it, it, it may look all right, but it, uh, you know, or, or, or has some decent specs to it, but it's not designed for anything other than um, being able to provide a wireless signal. So it's not optimized yeah. for video, which is becoming yeah. more and more of a thing. Right. Um, so that $20 Belkin router that you bought 10 years ago probably is is on its well it's been on its last leg and routers need to be replaced as well mm -hmm. i don't like the combo units because if one goes bad then you lose both usually um by combo yeah. units you mean the telephone coming in and then and the, well the, the, the modem the router. and the router together it's kind of like yeah. the, the tv dvd yes ecr combos that used to be out there and yeah. one goes bad, so you have to send the whole thing off to the shop. Now you're without a TV at the VCR, you know, vice versa. And all that. Well, I, I had a chat with a friend at my business club who does ships and everything for their communications, and he's going to advise me. Uh, the router's about £200, which I'm quite willing to pay, and uh, get a real good one that it knows it's fiber, it knows when video is being used, and that'll send this packets to them. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, Going back to your radio, mate, what I hope to do one day, right, is here I hope to give a talk one day live, yeah, uh, here in Aberdeen with some people there, just showing them how this works. Uh, and what I would like to do is be live with you guys on it at some stage. And I like, would, what I'm going to ask is, that package you had with the wireless microphone mm -hmm. would that work with a laptop because again i'm also looking maybe for a camera that would be good enough to plug into the laptop so people could see us live What's um, the story there? if it's a windows laptop more than likely yes yeah windows um yeah. if it's a mac you've got it doesn't work with my mac is, is what okay. i'll say um, yeah. But that's because of the way the Mac, uh, Apple does their their headset jack. Now it's it's yeah. all it's not a I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. Um, it, it what you need is um, uh, there's a splitter that you can buy that essentially splits off the jack and gives you a, a headphone jack and a mic jack, and then from and then you're supposed to be able to plug into the mic jack from there and, and it work. Right. Um, or you can get like a USB to to um, uh, phono uh, jack and, and work it that way so 
I, I don't use it with that. You could give it a try mm -hmm. and, and see what happens. So I'm I'm just looking for a wireless mic that I can walk about, uh, look to camera, chat to people in an audience, and then mm -hmm. bring people in the audience. To, so that's what I'd be looking for long term. I mean, I, you know, even if it doesn't work in that jack, I mean, there, there's outfits that you can put together. You can get yourself a mixing board, tie this into a mixing board, because, I mean, this is a professional microphone. So, I, you yeah. know, they use it for uh, uh, lots of different areas. In fact, I've got um, a jack. So, uh, you know, an XLR setup uh, with a mixer board. Yeah. It's got... Um, this one comes with, uh, you know, a, a, so I plug that in, and there's the XLR ah, hookup right, right there. Uh, yeah. That I can plug in. So, I, you know, there there's yeah. possibilities that you can work around with. There's, well, you know, that's what I do. I, I'm a, I do a bit of singing, and what I've got is the mixer coming straight from the, the jack of the laptop, because I use a laptop for the music. Mm -hmm. And then with that... And then get a microphone. I could I could actually get a microphone to walk about into the mixer as well. So that's the answer. So uh, if anybody was to speak, the crowd in the room could hear it as well through the the set of speakers that I would take along. So yeah, that's a, I mean I've got everything that I really need now. So well, and another thing that you can do is you. I mean, so this system, I don't have to use the the wireless uh, the the live set rig that I've got hooked up. I could actually um, use this connected with a, uh, they, they sell a wireless adapter to plug into an, an XLR microphone. So if you want yes. to walk around, like you yeah. see in TV shows, you know, where somebody yeah. somebody in the audience wants to ask a question. So they hand on the mic and, you know, they're, they're talking. Well, I could actually, I could actually set up, up a, yeah. a, micro, a, wireless, a, a, a wireless microphone to the, um, the mixer, and mm -hmm. also have a, a one to walk about with to ask yeah. questions. So you'd need two yeah. receivers. Yeah. You'd, you'd have to get a second receiver, and you'd and you'd have to get that that type of uh, rig set yeah. up. That's great. That. And I mean, I you know, again, it's going to be a little bit of money investment, but mm -hmm. if it's something that's going to help do what you need to do for your business, yeah. then yeah. I've got yeah. most of that. Now, when we're aware Rob up there, so he's obviously going to ask a question. Is he? No. And good afternoon. Sorry, Robert. We, we, when Peter starts talking, uh, we've, we've got to listen. Um, and David, thank you for helping Peter. Mm -hmm. um, right. Robert, welcome. Hey, welcome. Stephen. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing, Stephen? David, it's good to see you as always. Hey, Robert. Good to see you. No, I'm just, I, I, I guess my concern is, you know, for those of you guys that know me, um, teaching social media and stuff like that, I'm not as concerned about the technology. I'm more concerned about get on and give your message. Absolutely. And that is something that I say to everybody all the time. You know that. You know that I've got all this stuff. Don't worry about all this stuff. These people that tell you you need to go get lights and a mic and a camera and all this type of stuff. Look, you got a phone. Your phone's probably got a camera on it. Start there. You've got a laptop. It's more than likely got a webcam. Start there. You need to go live and practice going live and, and being live and, and getting comfortable being live and interacting and all this type of stuff. And you need to start getting your message out there. And then from there, you can start figuring out, well, you know, I really like the way that you, you know, get lit up or, or whatever. So, I, you know, what lights? Do, I mean, I've graduated in lighting this. I'm now on my third different set of lights. Um <laughs> I, you know, it, but I, in the beginning, I didn't start that way. It, it's just go live, tweet, right. Facebook, Instagram. Just do it. Yeah, just go out and do it. Um, and, and that's my whole mantra right there. I'd rather just see a whole bunch of people go live without proper setups. Or, or uh, it, I don't even like calling them proper setups. It's just there's levels, you know. It's just it's engaging. It's just getting out there and communicating and and telling it's like telling your story. It's like cooking in the kitchen. Everybody wants to have the entire setup that you see on Rachel Ray or Emeril Lagasse or or Gordon Ramsay or, or whoever is your favorite or Bobby Flay or whatever. But you're not going to go out and spend ten thousand dollars on all that type of stuff, and you've never cooked a meal in your life. Start by boiling water. Indeed. 
Cook some hot dogs. If, if, if you're producing a show, know when to exchange guests. My apologies to Stephen, who, uh, who wanted to come in and ask a question live. Uh, we did overrun on a particular section of the show. Uh, so my apologies for that. Uh, back to yourself, David, and to Robert. So what's your advice to somebody going live, Robert? The biggest thing is, is, is um, you know, we hear it all the time about storytelling and everything else. And biggest thing I tell people all the time is it's not about you. It's about them. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Brian Fanzo says, think like a fan. Um, everybody else says it's all about them. You, you need to know what their pain points are and what they want to learn. Don't, just don't go on and just sell. It's it's all about, you know, listen, I can, I can go on streams every single day and say, I have this product, buy this. I have this product, buy this. I have this product, buy this. It's like watching an infomercial. There's no engagement. You're, all you're doing is talking about how great your product is. But you're not knowing from the customers or the future customers, why they even need your product. You, you got to explain it better. You got you to gotta sell what the product is, sell the history of the product, the story of the product, and about you. Well, I agree with that. It's, it is about people, isn't yeah. it, David? Every answer needs a problem. Do you want to expand on that? Every answer needs a problem. Every an I, it, that's what you are, is an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and it's it's think of it like a key um, uh, uh, to a door. I, that key's got all these different types of ridges and ups and downs and all this type of stuff, and it's a key, but it doesn't fit every single lock. It doesn't unlock every single door. It only unlocks a particular set of, type of door and a particular type of lock. So that key is an answer to a particular lock. You are an answer to a particular problem. Um, uh, you know, it, it, another analogy is um, every cure needs its disease. Mm -hmm. You know, otherwise the cure is worthless. It's it's not. But you know, in the meantime, getting there, you got to be able to get your message out. You got to start talking about the answer that you got. You got to start listening. And, and this is where I I fall off the wagon a lot of times with a lot of social media whatevers. Um, it's more about listening and responding and not talking about you, you, you. And every time we get any kind of social media account, the first thing we want to start doing is saying me, 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 me. And it's not about me, me, me. And live video is the exact same way. And that's why I have a problem a lot of times with a lot of people in the way that they're doing live video. Because all they're doing is just making glorified ads. This is me. This is what I can do. And it's not that that's not a place. It's just not a place all the time. Correct. In fact, it should be, uh, you know, God gave you two ears and one mouth. You should listen twice as much as you talk. That's, that's the way that it goes. Totally agree. Um, because it is, I mean, it's a social arena. I mean, the thing that Blab did for us is brought people together. And uh, that's what it's all about. That's what, to me, live video is about people talking to each other, not at each other. And uh, I think there is a big difference. Right, I'm going to take a back seat again for a moment. Um, and I'm going to bring, hang on a minute, got a message. The only other thing I would add is you have to be open to change. And change goes in many ways. And Stephen, you brought up Blab. I mean, you know, we were all yep. on Blab together. And it's no longer here. And you have to be apt for the change. Hey. Everybody remember this one? <laughs> there was a catch, wasn't there? Yeah, it was catch. It's no longer here. Huzzah yep. is no longer here. Things are going to come and go very quickly now. The past two years has changed technology, has changed live streaming, has changed everything, and everything is going to move very fast. So you have to jump on, see what it's about, see if it works for you. If it does, great. But have that option open with a back door just in case it disappears because they are not all Facebooks. They are not all Twitters. We don't even know about Twitter these days. They are not even LinkedIn. I mean, you can't be sure of any one platform always being there. And you have to be open to other ideas. Yep, you do. It, it's... And Facebook may not, I mean, you can wake up tomorrow and Facebook be done. I doubt it. 
more than likely what you'll do is you'll wake up tomorrow and Facebook will change the algorithm and the organic reach and the way you can do this. And, you know, then you got to figure out something else to do. It's kind of like Facebook's given everybody that has a fan page, a wonderful gift. If you have an about video, uh, if you have a featured video on your video tab, then every time you go live on Facebook to your personal, uh, to your fan page, your, your, um, your featured video is replaced by your live video. And then when you're done, your featured video goes back and now your live video is down in the queue somewhere. But what that does is that gives you a, a single point of presence Land, on Facebook. Video. No longer do people have to worry about, did I see it, miss the post? Did, you know, where's the, uh, did I not see the event? Am I not in the, you know, this or that or anything? It's that one central place and then go and, create a, a subdomain on a URL that you have to point there. So don't tell people go find right. facebook.com forward slash I am David Vaughn forward slash videos forward slash, you know, all that type of stuff. No, go see facebook.davidvaughn.tv. That type of deal. Go get yourself a dot live domain and then start playing around with that type of stuff. I was talking about having a place away from all the platforms yep. a long time ago before they started disappearing because I knew of the volatility of the market. Indeed. Right, we'll just take a short advert break and we'll bring the talk later on screen. And you've got two minutes to tell us about tonight's show, Peter. Okay, tonight's show, and there was another thing about uh, running a show. I got a call this morning to say, I'm sorry, I can't make the interview tonight. So thank you very much. It was very nice. He's going to the bottom of the queue. And uh, <laughs> we're trying to keep this positive, Peter. <laughs> okay. So what we've done tonight, we've uh, we've actually changed it. Quick thinking. Steve and I are going to talk about why you should use live streaming in your your business, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. For Robert, I don't know if you know me, but uh, I'm an exterminator during the day, and I also got a speaking business. Uh, where I'll teach people to speak. And this is actually... Yes, this we saw each other on Blab one time. Did we indeed? All right, okay. Now, I've got to tell you something. I've also been accused of being an American with this hat. I like my hat, but somebody we know doesn't like me with this one. But anyway, so what, I what, what, my, what my purpose is, is to get people up speaking. And I'm absolutely amazed that people don't want to come up and speak live on camera. That frustrates me. So my job, hopefully, is to get people up and speak about their business and have a chit chat about business in the community, business nationally, business internationally. And that's my plug. Seven o'clock British time tonight. You're all welcome to come because I'm not started charging yet. <laughs> right, it's 2 p.m. Eastern, and uh, it's on the Talkinators page on Facebook. He's not got his own URL yet, David, but uh, I recommend being there for half an hour. Now, what what do you guys think about a call to action within a program? Always, yes. And it ha and it can be the smallest little thing. It doesn't have to be buy buy buy. It could be sign up for a free newsletter. It could be sign up for a free thing. You know, when, when I talk social media and stuff, I'm always talking about baby steps. Start off with a free ebook or a free newsletter or a PDF page, and then you go to a one or two dollar item, and then you build them up to a. F While you're doing that, you're doing David's special love of interest, collecting emails. Because <laughs> you want <laughs> I, I threw that in there for you, David. Build your list. <laughs> Build your list, but you start off with the freebies. And that's what's great about live streaming. You get to build your list. It's Live streaming is a great way to build an email list. Uh, David and I are both friends with a woman in Tennessee who, with affiliated marketing, who's big on building lists, Delilah Taylor. I mean, mm -hmm. and she live streams every, pretty much every single day, same time, and they talk about all their things. And they don't go on buy, buy, buy. They go on, hey, check out our site. Check out our site. Sign up to be part of the affiliate program. Sign up to do this. They're not asking for money. They've actually changed that. They're, they're not going to go live every day anymore. 
I know. It's, they're it's, they're you know, too it's, busy. It's, it's, <laughs> Which is a good thing. Now you're too busy got, to be able to do but it. Think but. about that. They did it every day for oh, almost yeah. three, four months, and now they're too busy mm-hmm. because of what they did every day. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. A question I would like is, how should you dress for live streaming? How should you dress? Especially well, first of all, you, first yeah. of all, you you should in normal circum in normal circumstances dress. Okay, <laughs> coming coming went... naked would not. No, it, <laughs> thank you, Robert. Where it's, it's basically what you ever ever you comfortable with. I mean, obviously, if you were if you were doing a business show, then you'd have a different approach to if it was a chat. Um, but as long as you're res- respectable, I don't see any problem. David? It I was, depends on the audience that you're going trying to attract or, or speak with. Um, I'm a t-shirt guy. I wear t-shirts almost all the time. But if I am intentionally going to be more business-oriented and, and talking to a if I was talking to a room of doctors, I doubt I would be in a T-shirt. I would probably be in at least a button-down. Um, I'd be in a T-shirt. I promise I'd have a tie on, but I, you know, it would be something that I, you know. So it, it's kind of like who you're talking to. Um, it, it, it's really based on your audience and you and and the the content of the 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 show, the the crux of the show. So if you're more who are you looking to attract? You know, that type of stuff. That's what I would do. Well, Jack, look, I would take it one step further. I'd say when you're out in public and you're talking business, how would you dress? Yeah. If you if you were with your clients, what would you do? Yeah. I mean, you said T-shirt. Uh, I know people that – It come- always depends on the situation and, and, and the and – the, and the, uh, One of the things that I always – it's like going to court. You wear a tie when you go to court. That, that's what I was told. It's a sign of respect towards the, the court. It's a sign of respect towards the judge. You wear a tie. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I yeah, know. I, I, yeah, it's usually from the waist up, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> I see people with t shirts on, and then when they get up on stage, you just put a sport coat on. I've seen that too. Yeah. It, it's no. whatever you're comfortable with. I well yeah and uh, but again it really depends on the audience it, it you know because if you're in a room full of professionals and and the professionals um, dress a certain way you don't want to underdress or overdress you want to be a you want to be welcomed in and and so that's that's really where I'm going with it if it's uh, you know again if it's a room full of doctors. Um, and you're speaking at some university or something of that nature, uh, or people that normally would wear ties, wear a tie when when you're doing what you're doing. Um, the, the same is true in the reverse. If you're talking to the same group of people, but they're uh, out on the golf course enjoying uh, your your talk while eating lunch, um, they're not wearing ties. They're wearing golf, uh, you know, golf shirts and shorts yeah. and pants and stuff like that. So try and just address for the occasion. All right. I know, I, said, I, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, I think we'll take the whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, basically, I mean, back in the day when I was an accountant long before this, uh, it was suit and tie every day and there was no option. I think we've, we've uh, gone a bit more casual since then. And as David and Robert have said, you should actually uh, dress to suit the occasion. Uh, right. Okay. Now you said earlier that there should be. I'm going to try this. That there should be a call to action in the show. So I'm going to take the three of us up top, and there is now a call to action. For, hang on, if I can get this right. And the call to action is tell that to Mark Zuckerberg. No, the call. <laughs> the call to action is if if you <laughs> if you are enjoying this show, please like the post. Please share the post. And your support means more people will see our show. show. So if you're watching on Facebook at the moment, press like if you, if you care to. And uh, if you want to share it, then David and I will be eternally grateful, as will LVS17, which is the Facebook group uh, that we're promoting today. 
So there you are. That is, that, I've got to be honest here. That and is, if you're in Smile Time, go over and click the, the thing to the right, the heart, and subscribe to the channel. Then go download the app from the App Store, and if nothing else, you'll get notified every time any of the channels you subscribe to goes live. Indeed. <clears throat> Which, that actually brings up one thing, um, Stephen, that with the, uh, I don't know if it was this latest update, it was when I noticed it, um, from Smile Time in the beta. Uh, they've now got, if you go to your profile, you've got a, a call to action saying, find, find uh, your Facebook friends on Smile Time. And yep. when you do that, it goes through your list and it finds the ones who, if they're, uh, if they have a channel on Smile Time, you can subscribe to the channel from there. That's great. You can yeah. actually subscribe to all the channels that they they have. That's and that it, that's situated where? Uh, it's in the mobile beta app. So you click oh, on right. the. Okay. Yep. It's it, yep. you click on the. Um, um, the, the, well, if you don't have the mobile beta, then there's no. I, reason. I'm an Android guy. I we know. come, we come, second class citizens. We get it. We get it when you fixed it. <laughs> I know. That's, well, that's and, my and way the funny thing, thing was in, in listening to Alex um, Kruglov when he was because somebody else, you know, he they, they always get about Android. Somebody from Android comes up with, well, what about Android? When's Android? Alex Kruglov says um, uh, that once the iOS is pushed and, and out of beta and, and available that uh, it should be an easy enough port over to the Android system. And I just kind of, I wasn't on camera. I was silent. I didn't say anything. I was, I, you know, he doesn't do development. <laughs> That's why they do iOS first. Cause it's, it's so much easier on Android. It is a much more easy. <laughs> um, just, I know, I know. <laughs> Much more easy ecosystem because it's controlled, um, and Google's trying, but they can only do so much. So, indeed. And word from Carlos, uh, he's enjoying the mobile app too. I've seen I've seen both yourself and Carlos over the last couple of weeks, and uh, I I'm just waiting until <laughs> it comes to Android. I'm not jealous is not the right word, but jealous is close. <laughs> uh, because when you can take small time out and about with you, you can start a show from the app then uh, potential and the possibilities of just limitless, limitless to be able to it check is. the show. Yeah. It so uh, we, we have that to look forward to uh, when Smart Time releases it on Android. Uh, right. Okay. Now. Uh, I you see Carlos's is call to action for Androids, Android users. Stop buying Android. Uh, Okay. <laughs> I'm speechless. Look. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm gonna to reply. Uh, simply send an email I to mean, Carlos at Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> you guys may not go back this far, but I bought the Apple IIe, and I was Apple forever. And uh, well. So I've been on both sides of the fence. So I accept what you're saying, um, but I'm going to stay with Android at the moment. My my first computer was an IBM 8080. So I guess I guess oh, I guess I remember that. Me his next phone is a BlackBerry. No, <laughs> no. I still have. I remember BlackBerry. the. I, I love. Do you remember? BlackBerry. I loved the BlackBerry phone. Right. But then they just they didn't keep up. I would much rather have a physical keyboard than tapping on the screen. I'll tell you that. Yeah. But everything that's ever tried to come out and stuff. Yuck. Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah. Kit wise. Do you remember the Sirius and the apricot? Who? Ah, oh, right. Okay. It doesn't matter. What? IBM, IBM's, IBM's good. Uh, <laughs> but there was, there was a, one of the first uh, business PCs was a, a, a Sirius. And an apricot. I've heard of the apricot. All oh, right. Okay. Well, the same guys uh, okay. were involved with the series as well. But I don't this, think that's big over here. Well, it wasn't very big itself. It only had 32 k of RAM. Yeah. No, I mean, um, I, I don't yeah. think it was. I don't think there were a lot of those units sold in the states. That, that wasn't. IBM was kind of a dominant player. 
Oh yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. then there was the Tandy systems, uh, which oh, were yes. to be Radio Shack. Yeah, um, Tandem Commodore sixty four. Yeah. Ah, oh, memories, eh? Memories. But we're, we're living the with life to get them off. System. <laughs> right. Carlos says he was a Windows user, but if you want to be on top of live streaming mobile, uh, most of the time it will be iOS. Amiga. Yeah. Yep. Commodore Amiga. I'm going to agree on that. If you're watching live on Facebook, then uh, comment. We can see it. We'll respond to it. We'll answer your questions. Uh, if you want to share it out, then please do. Uh, we always appreciate that. Uh, just a second shout out for uh, talking at seven o'clock tonight. Myself and Peter, Vaught, Peter Stewart, uh, will be talking about why businesses should be using more live video. And I just want to put this question to both of you. I'll start with with Robert. Why do you think people don't want to don't have nerves about coming on live video? <sighs> I was just in Washington, D.C. I was speaking down there to uh, 200 uh, uh, real estate agents, and that came up a lot because I was trying to talk about live streaming and video and everything. And it's fear. It's a lot of fear. Um, one side of it is fear of, um, you know, listen, there are a lot of people out there that just don't like being in front of a camera, let alone a video. You know, I, I used to go to parties and family and they're like, no, 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 don't take my picture. Don't take my picture. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like to be on the camera because they, they ridicule themselves. They, they feel it needs to be perfect. And, you know, I want to see it before it's done. I want to see it up before it's viewed. I want to do all these things. And then the other side of it is, believe it or not, people think that it is so much time involved. Mm-hmm where a lot of them don't understand you take a little bullet little five little bullet points pop it up in front of you put your screen on and just talk and that's enough but they think it needs to be this huge thing you know youtube set the standard you have to remember on video youtube mm -hmm. set it yeah. up that Oh, it's got to have the splash and it's got to be edited and it's got to have links and it's got to have all these crazy and it's got to have the perfect lighting and, and you got to spend $2,000 on a green screen and all this stuff. And it's not live streaming and, and this type of video is, is getting in front of the camera and talking with people, not at people, with people. And that's the difference. But there's so much fear on it. It's not the fear they don't believe it's not going to work. It's the fear of doing it, and it's the fear of them seeing themselves because they're too – everybody is critical about themselves. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah sure. David and I are in T-shirts. We don't care. But 99% of the people would not come on here without their hair done, without this. I had one woman say – I was about to put her on live stream right there, and she said, no, no, I got to put my lip gloss on. I went, Really? <laughs> yep it's um it's amazing what right. what people will I, you know and robert said it there there's three basic fears and 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 they stem from video as well so there's three fears um it, it's that i don't want to be on camera um i don't know what to do and uh you know it's it's it, i it, i i don't have you know the the right stuff to get it done and and usually yeah. that associates like sometimes with cost um which once again lights microphone webcam all these different things you know a backdrop and all this different type of stuff um and robert's right uh, you know then we've got uh people out there who uh they they view uh you know if they want to do video and they go on youtube and they see these people that are in this niche and they've been doing it for a while um, and, and they do have, you know, fancy backgrounds and, and all this other type of stuff. And they're like, well, I've got to be there, you know, in order to be able to get done. Well, you know, what you need to do is go look at the very first few videos that they ever did um, that nobody ever watched um, because they mm -hmm. were starting out. They yep. were 
finding their legs. And, and live video is the same way. I've done live videos before talking about how you can do a faceless live video. It's very simple to do. Um, it doesn't cost a lot of money. And that way, because we all, you know, no matter what, they love talking about what they, what they do. Um, because if they didn't love talking about what they do, they'd make no money. So, point. Um, I, you know, and it's just that you've you've got to provide answers to the problems, but you got to understand what what they're saying, and those are typically the three areas that they don't know what to do. Yeah, and Robert, you have further thoughts? No, no, I was just tagging on with what David said. I mean, it's it's. The cost is a factor. People, people, I hate the word assume, but they assume that if I'm going to do value, I'm going to do video that's going to be good for me to get business. It's going to cost me so much money. It's, it's an automatic assumption in their head because I need yeah. to have this. I need to have somebody direct it. I need to have scripts. I need to have this. And, and they don't understand that in this day and age. It's so easy to do live stream and video. Whereas in the past, yes, you needed your laptop, you needed your microphone, you needed all these crazy things. But now it's it's you need a phone. That's it. True. You can, True. You can edit it on your phone with certain programs now. You can do everything right there on your phone. Mm -hmm. Well, just to add a, a reminder, because uh, I'm going to get the pronunciation wrong, but Vida, we're going to say, uh, has left us and said thank you. We've enjoyed uh, watching today, but she's in the Philippines, and it's she's been up till 1 o'clock in the morning. So we've got to say thank you for watching. Um, and, uh, David, we are in a situation where we've... We're out of time. We're out of time. That's it. Over to you. Over to me. Well, I did the intro. And this is because Stephen wants me to do the outro, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm never prepared to do. Uh, so, uh, you know, thank you very much for watching us. If you uh, want to continue the conversation, you're more than welcome to with us in our Facebook group, LVS17. That's LVS17. Just search on Facebook and you'll find it. Uh, we are continually growing every day. It seems we get at least one new member who trips through the door and oh. discovers what it's all about. If you've got questions or anything about anything that we've talked about, feel free to reach out to any of us. If you haven't subscribed to our Small Time channel, LVS17, then come on over to Small Time and click that heart that's up in the top right hand corner. Now, uh, now we just got a request for somebody to join, but I'm not letting them in. So. <laughs> <laughs> And the person knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <So. laughs> Robert, thank you for joining us. And uh, as David said, thank you to everybody. And we'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Right, so we're going... <laughs>